Welcome back everyone. The National Weather Service has confirmed an EF zero tornado touchdown in Sanilac County on Friday with the severe weather Friday afternoon. At its peak, the tornado had winds around 85 miles an hour. It started just before 3:30 in the afternoon southeast of Applegate and later moved over into Lake Huron while traveling across nearly five miles of ground. Trees and branches were ripped apart. As you can see here, several homes along the path were also damaged, but thankfully no serious injuries have been reported and we were tracking this on exact track 40 Friday afternoon. This is the radar imagery from the National Weather Service up in Detroit showing that tornadic thunderstorm pulling into portions of Santa Lac County here. Let's take a closer look at what we saw on radar to keep you ahead of this tornado as it was moving through Santa Lac County. We've stopped it here right around 330 in the afternoon as that tornado thunderstorm was down into southern portions of Santa Lac County, and you can see here our red shear markers showing up. These markers indicate to us that the Doppler radar is indicating some sort of rotation, and you can see it's right around Applegate and also with how the radar looks here. This is our reflectivity or how hard it's raining mode. You can see a little indentation here right around Applegate. That's what we would call our inflow notch winds coming into the severe thunderstorm and wrapping around it, causing that rotation to where we would expect that tornado to be. Now we take this over into our wind detector mode or what we call our wind velocity mode, looking at which way the winds are going from the National Weather Service. Service Doppler radar over in Detroit and it shows our green going toward the National Weather Service Doppler radar over in Pontiac and red going away. And when we look for the possibility of rotation within the thunderstorm for a possible tornado or in this case an actual tornado, we want bright red around bright green. So right around here is where we had it. It's also shown by our red tube here, our shear marker, and it's just to the east of Applegate. One other thing on exact track 40 we keep a look eye on especially for tornadic situations is what we call our VTI that's our tornado index normally for a two to four a tornado is possible this was at a five so very much indicative that we had something on the ground as this severe thunderstorm was pulling into Santa Lac County working through Friday afternoon into early Friday evening but you see by two three o'clock Friday afternoon that severe thunderstorm complex pulling into portions of Santa Lac County producing that EF zero tornado. Just a little bit of the science behind what we see on exact track 4D when we're warning you of severe weather compared to what we actually saw as we worked up into Santa Lac County Friday afternoon. Just a quick look back at our severe weather and some of the tools we have in the forewarned weather center to keep you and your family ahead of severe weather as it moves in, especially in situations like what we saw up in Sanilac County at the end of last week. Stay with us here on weather wise. We're going to switch gears and talk about some astronomy and a new telescope that's up giving us some spectacular images, what that data is going to be used for. And we're going to take a look at some of those images that much more when we come back.